What's going on everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do the first ever gear wrench catalog review. Well, kind of gear wrench catalog review. I say that because it's actually the catalog is made by ProTech, but this is everything that you can expect from a gear wrench vendor distributing tools for your convenience. All right, let's get right into it. Let's start taking a look at some of the hot deals that they have for the month of February 2019. And how more expensive they are than Snap-on? What? I said it, more expensive than Snap-on. Mind fucking blown. All right, let's talk about it. I'm gonna share links down in the description so you can look for yourself, but we're gonna look at the catalog and I'm just gonna cover a couple of things, but we're gonna skim through it talk about some things that could be potentially hot deals and some other things that you should be looking for as a consumer. All right, so front cover, don't even get me started on Milwaukee. We're not even gonna talk about Milwaukee. Let's talk about the Sabre Light. Now I have this Sabre Light and I think I have the 1500 Lumen one. I did buy mine on the tool truck. Okay, that was four years ago. It's still ticking today. So is Sabre under hood light a good light? Yes. Yes, it is. Could I have gotten it cheaper on Amazon had I known better? Yes. Yes, I could have. Is it worth paying the additional price? Well, I'm going to let you be the determining factor in that. Again, I'll put links down in the description for you. But we're going to cover a couple other things that are just right, but we'll, we'll get into that. At any rate, all tell maxi tpms now I, it took me i'll tell you what it did take me some doing and some time to find this on amazon for a better deal and i think i did find it and i i want to say it was around like a 700 dollar range so about a 200 dollar markup almost all right Going to the next page, checking it out. Now I know some guys like our buddy GRC54 loves this style of tire inflator, okay, over the regular digital style that I love, which you guys have probably seen on the back wall or maybe you've seen in a video or two of mine. But it's the digital tire gauge that everybody buys, whether it's from Snap-on, Matco, etc. So the digital tire gauge that I have is actually made by, I believe, Astro Tools. So I'll put that link down there for you guys. But look, way big curve as far as how much they'll sell them to on the tool truck versus how much you could have got them on Amazon. Again, if you guys haven't seen the video that I've done on comparing tool prices, I'll put the card up here somewhere for you. Getting back into it, they do have some pretty unique tools in here. I'll give them that. And I didn't want to I didn't want to go through and look up every single tool to tell you guys exactly how much each one of these things cost, but I did look up the majority of the tools that I thought would be beneficial for you to own. Now there are some specialty tools in here that they have, um, looks like made by CTA, you guys can correct me on that. Uh, they have some stuff by ATD, Milton, you got some OTC branded stuff. Now, I'm not going to uh, post anything on the Digital Torque Wrench because I had this little conversation with my cousin and we went back and forth at it for a minute. Okay, He was dead set on what it was that he wanted, so I feel like me trying to sell you on a different item, it wouldn't really be worth it. Okay, You really have to go and try them out for yourself because I can't tell you what every single brand of Digital Torque Wrench does and what it's capable of doing and how long it's going to hold up over the test of time. I could tell you that I bought a Snap-on 3.8 drive digital torque wrench and I'm happy with it. I could tell you that I bought a Mac click style half inch torque wrench and I'm happy with it. However, I was also happy with the Cobalt. The Cobalt click style torque wrench was also good. I don't have it anymore but I had it for a while. <laughs> so torque wrenches, that's going to be entirely based on you and what you prefer. All right, let's go to the next page, check it out. So now they have this other thing made by ProLogix. Now I looked, I did my best to look some of this stuff up. Some of the stuff I just couldn't find. ProLogix, I couldn't find on there. Maybe some of you guys are able to. But I did find a close comparison, which was a, a fraction of the cost. So if you're just looking for something to test batteries, load test batteries, print out results of the starting and charging system, or anything like that, there's a, a sufficient tool that I've posted down below for you. 
Looking at some of the other lights they have here, we all know about Streamlight. If you haven't checked that out, again, I'll throw the card up here. Look, I love my Streamlight. It's bright, but it doesn't last very long. Not a huge fan of the price that I paid for the quality that I got. It does hold up. I've ran it over the Ford F-250. It still survived. I've only had to hand it in twice to have it repaired in the last like eight years. But the batteries just don't last. All right, enough of that rant. Moving forward with this. Now look, they got some good gloves, really good gloves. Made by Astro Grip. But I'm gonna show you I haven't tried these Astro Grips yet, but the gloves that I have tried are made by Monster, and I'm gonna show you that real quick. All right, so Shane and I buy these Monster Gloves in bulk every single time our gear wrench dealer comes by. We buy them in bulk because we wear extra large. We love the Monster Gloves. Dude, let me pull these out and show you. These things have not only like the best textile I've ever seen as far as grip, they're comfortable and they don't tear. Okay, I've tried Ravens, I've tried the Harbor Freight Specials. I mean, for I think these are like 17 bucks or 16 bucks a box plus tax. Let me pull one of these bad boys out here and just show you real quick. Look at these things. Grip for days. They are textiled. You can really grip onto oil filters really easily, especially when they're soaked in oil to turn them out. You can grab onto bolts very easily. Now I maybe only go through maybe three pairs per day. And that's of constant use and abuse, taking them off, flipping them inside out, making the fingers go, and these things will last me, man. I can literally use three pairs throughout the entire day. So for a box of, what is this, 100? For a box of 100 pairs of gloves, I'm not, I can't beat it. I've tried different brands, I have. They just don't last. So as far as gloves go, I haven't tried the Astro Grip, but I've tried Ravens, I've tried, uh, the Harbor Freight Specials made by Hardy. I mean, I've tried all different types. The Monster ones are the best. Okay, as far as bandage kits, come on, are you really gonna buy a bandage kit from the tool truck? All right, eye wash station, unless you're a shop owner, probably not interested in that either. A paint suit, unless you're in a paint booth, probably not interested in that either. A respirator, okay, let's talk about respirators real quick. Now they do have one in here for 20 bucks. I picked mine up I believe for 35 bucks, but mine is made by 3M and I trust 3M. I think the 3M respirator that I have is of good, very strong quality and I believe that I can protect my lungs the most with a 3M respirator. I don't know much about Bandit, but I'll say for what it's worth, 20 bucks, if you're gonna save 15 bucks, hey, it's up to you, do what you wanna do. All right, covering these locking pliers made by ATD. Now these I were able to find on the Amazon special, the entire 11 piece set. And dudes, my dudes, it goes for so much cheaper than what you would pick it up off of the tool truck. There are certain things that you can get for a fairly good price on the tool truck, but again, the tool vendor has to make his money too. He's gotta pay for the repairs for his truck. I get it. But at what cost? Okay, is it worth a hundred bucks? Two hundred bucks? A thousand bucks? What's the markup difference? We're gonna talk about that in a minute because at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you one item that blew my mind. But all right, getting back into it, is it worth it? Uh -uh. I'm saying you can go on to Amazon and get a much sicker deal, and I've posted that link down there for you. Same thing with the Sunex Impact Socket Set. No way am I gonna spend 350 bucks on an Impact Socket Set that I could pick up probably for under 150 off of Amazon. Same thing with the Crow's Feet. Now this was also a little bit tricky to try to find for you guys. So I found a Sunex comparison, but I also found a Sunex seven piece set 
for a little bit less than half the cost. If I could have found, you know, the 14 piece set in Sunex, then I think that would have been even better to share and deliberate back and forth. Fact of the matter is I found a seven piece set for like 48 bucks that I posted down there, but I found a Tekton 14 piece set for less than 80 bucks on there. So I'm not a Tekton guy. Okay, it's the bargain bin special. I wouldn't buy Tekton. You guys might feel differently if you do. Hey, save yourself some money. Buy Tekton all you want. For me, I'm not gonna do it. So at any rate, moving forward with this. Now the Power Probe 3, Power Probe 3, the complete, huge, master series kit that Power Probe has to offer, I found that for a big savings, a huge, savings i could not believe the price difference between what they want to sell this for on the gear wrench truck and what i can find it for on amazon now i get it the amazon is not the be all end all but it's pretty goddamn good okay two days free shipping especially if you have the amazon prime membership uh-uh save yourself some money if you're gonna buy this master kit get it on amazon don't waste don't waste your money. All right. <whistles> Moving on to welding hoods. Look, I'm kind of uh, partial to the welding hood that I have. I have one from Harbor Freight that my grandmother bought me uh, way back when, when I first started community college. It holds like a, a deep sentimental value to me because it's one of the only items that I still own that she bought for me. So I keep it as a remembrance of her and it's on my wall. It hangs from my wall in the garage. But. I also went from a save face helmet that I purchased from Snap-on and I traded that in because I didn't like the way uh, that that helmet was because what would happen was is that the save face, it was like it was like super dark, the auto darkening wasn't working, it would work when it wanted to and I would get flash burned. So I traded that in straight across for a Matco welding hood and I have not been let down. I was advised to take the batteries out if I was gonna let it be stored for a while. That helmet has been stored for over two years. The batteries have, the same exact batteries I put in it are still in it. I've never had to change them out and I have had no corrosion problems with them whatsoever. So I'm pretty partial to the welding hood that I got from Matco. I have no idea who makes it. They do have some other uh, helmets within the catalog, but I'm not gonna spend 550 bucks on a welding hood when I don't do it as a professional. I'm not a professional welder, I don't do it all the time. I don't see a point in spending 500 bucks on a welding hood. Yes, I wanna protect my eyes and my face, so I'm more than willing to spend like 150 to 200 bucks on a welding hood, but I'm not spending no 500 bucks on a welding hood. That's just me, I don't weld for a living, so I don't have to worry about that. They got some die grinders, they got some air uh, tools in here, they got a welding station for a thousand bucks, which pretty much looks like a Lincoln, which we're not gonna cover, don't even get me started on their Milwaukee tools, except for this. Now they did have a Milwaukee ratchet wrench combination set that went from quarter inch to one inch and eight millimeter to 22 millimeter. If you don't have a ratchet wrench set, that would be a nice set to have but is it worth 300 bucks? Can you get it cheaper somewhere else? These are the questions you should be asking yourself before you commit to buy on the tool truck. And you should do your research and look up the tools that you don't already own so you can create your own wish list from home so the next time you see the tool vendor, you already have an idea of how much they go for online and you can kind of ask him and go from there and see if it's worth your while and buying it directly from him. Might save you some trouble with shipping, if you only gotta pay a couple extra bucks to have him deal with it. All right, moving on to the last item, and this last item is the money question. Is gear wrench more expensive than Snap-on? Let's take a look. Sunex carts, they list two. They list a three drawer service cart, and they list a six drawer service cart with flip lid, power bank, you name it, it's there, right? So you're thinking, dude, that'd be sick as fuck, right? Six drawer, power bank, flip lid, uh, right? And I love the green, and I love the red and black, I love the green and black, I even love the orange and black the ATD did. But getting over here to the Sun X one, for the six drawer, they want $1,600. $1,600. Now, if you were to go online and you went to Amazon, 
you could pick this up for 1480 bucks. Okay, 120 bucks make the difference. However, they have the three drawer service cart from SunX. And I don't know if this includes the power bank or not. I'm assuming it does. We hope it does, but it doesn't say that it does. Okay, $1,159.99. So basically, $1,160 for the SunX power bank three drawer service cart or three drawer cart. It doesn't say if it has power bank on the three drawer. Kind of disappointed by the way that they advertise us on their catalog. But I looked this tool service cart up. I looked this three drawer service cart up on Amazon. $750, gentlemen. $750. So is it really worth the markup to spend another 700 bucks almost on a service cart that you could have got for half the cost? Again, guys, it really depends on what it is that you can afford, if you're putting it on tool credit, and how bad that you want it. But furthermore, God, just save your fucking money. And when you can afford it, then buy it. And if you can't afford it, then don't buy it. Don't make the same mistakes that I have. I, it took me years. It took me years to learn from my mistakes, but I finally have. It's taken that time, but I finally have. I've smartened up the last 12 months. 24 months, I've smartened up and I started doing things a little bit differently. I've gotten a little bit more uh, careful with what it is that I'm buying on the tool truck. I'll give you a for instance. We'll get rid of the catalog for a minute. I picked these up today. You might be wondering, what are those? Well, they're made by VIM and it is a chisel set, scraper set, putty set. We're gonna open it up and take a look. I found them online. I'll tell you how much in a minute. Identical to the ones that Matco sells on their tool truck, okay? Identical. These things are rad, man. I've only had one that I picked up from O'Reilly's a while back, and it wasn't made by VIM, but they've been badass, and I've utilized Shane's a lot at work for oil, lower oil pan removal specifically, and sometimes transmission pan removal, but sometimes you want a flat blade that has an angle that you can turn around one way or the other and with a hammer strike on the back side of it to free up the amount of RTV that they put on there. Because I'll tell you guys, they put on some serious RTV. I mean, this stuff is strong. So you need a strong scraping tool. I've seen it on Chrysler, I've seen it on Toyota, I've seen it on Dodge, I've seen it on Ford. You're gonna want a set like this. And this set is pretty damn badass. Three piece set, right? So, all right, I found it on Amazon for $40 and 80 some odd cents. I picked this three piece set up for $45, which means I paid $4 and 20 cents to my tool rep for this specific three piece set. That's what I'm talking about as far as picking up smoking deals from your tool truck and not having to worry about necessarily buying it online and dealing with it and this, that, and the other. I get it, okay? If you wanna be able to warranty something out and have him deal with it, no big deal. What's the price value worth to you for that? For me, $4.20 all day long. Okay, $4.20 markup to what I would've had to pay for online anyways. Come on, man, the guy took his time out for you to come all the way to your shop just for you to look at cool tools that you might not have otherwise seen. And those tools that you got a chance to look at for free, and he wait, he used his gas, money, and time to come see you, you're able to turn around, if you're smart, and go online onto the computer, look it up, see how much they cost, and then make your decision from there. That's all I got for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching my channel. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Share if you want to share. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said in the past, I don't personally like doing tool catalog reviews, but this being a first, first gear wrench catalog, oh yeah, you know we had to step on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Doses.